evening you YouTubers or good day or good afternoon wherever it is in your neck of the woods I'm in uh, Fedora 24 here and um, it was requested last time that rather than do the whole let's go through every single application thing that we look at uh, some of the changes I guess you could say or features that have been added to Fedora so I imagine this will probably be a relatively short video. Mind you, that request was not just Fedora, but uh, for Fedora, but uh, all of the distros that uh, we look at here. I can't promise that it'll be that way because sometimes there are some interesting applications and there's some interesting setups. So I recommend that if you see it's a long video, it's probably for people new to uh, GNU Plus Linux, and uh, you'd best be looking uh, at some of the other videos that might be shorter. But anyway, so we're in the uh, GNOME desktop, I think we're looking at uh, something like a GNOME uh, 3.20 or some, something around there. Nonetheless, there are a bunch of features that they reckon they've added. We'll take a look at that. I went to the website and uh, took this. Uh, this is a Fedora 24 workstation, so I must make that clear. There's a, a variety of uh, different ones. There's an atomic one, which is quite minimalist. There's a server one as well. You can take a look at the Fedora website to find out more about those um, editions of it. Fedora. So uh, you can see here that uh, we can just download it from the official website. Of course you could go to DistroWatch and find out more as well. I recommend uh, DistroWatch uh, for your various distributions. So yeah, it says here GNOME 3.20. That's great. Um, shortcut overlays that you reckon. Um, you know, so you can uh, learn uh, keyboard shortcuts. I haven't actually used that yet. That's fine. Um, Searching is either uh, even easier in the files application, so I suppose let's take a look at that and see what they're saying there. Okay, so we can search and uh, we can look for screencast and we can see what we're working at the moment, which is that uh, screencast just there. So it seems to work alright. My favourite feature from uh, the old Nautilus was pressing F3 and split painting, but it hasn't returned. Uh, and I can probably just go back home and try it again, press F3, and there's no split painting. I really want them to bring that back. I keep on saying it and harping on it. I want them to bring that back cause it, because it's very useful. Um, and I don't see really why it left us. But anyway, we can close that. Okay. Uh, this is true. You can access media controls directly from the calendar and shell. Now, that's an interesting one. There's a little bit of something I have to say about that. Um, if I choose, let's just say I went to, uh, no, that's not what I'm looking for, um, oh, it's not going anywhere, is it? Open. Um, so, yeah, if I were to, uh, let's have a look, look at the audio bit here, if I, um, open this with videos. Okay. I don't see it happening up here. So I don't know if you guys can hear that. I doubt it very much. But you can't see it there. Um, what's interesting though, so with videos, uh, no good, not going to happen. However, what I found was if I go to Rhythm Box, Rhythm Box, and I now now where did I do that? Import uh, I think videos and there's this one and we can see here those controls come up and they do work so yeah it's there uh, not across all of the applications. I would just, I'd like to see that integrated across all the applications. Some people would say, well, why videos? Well, it just so happens that only using something like WebM, uh, it assumes that you want to open it with videos, so therefore, you know, even though this is audio only, uh, it'd be kind of nifty to have it there. Um, that's this font, which is kind of interesting. Yes, yeah, so I've got that font, which is now more legible, apparently. So, nice font. I agree. It looks pretty good. Print jobs. 
Uh, now that's interesting. I did add the printer and found it. Um, add printers. I found it pretty uh, easy actually to add a printer. I did do this. Authenticate and we add a printer. And um, the only thing about it is I just left it sifting around for a little bit and it didn't have much luck. But what I did do is, knowing that the server that it sits on, I'll do this and it finds it straight away. So you can add it. And ta-da! Printer's added. Very nice. We can make it default and we can close it. Again, I just wanted to point out too, we've got this these nice notifications in here. Additional packages required. Yeah, so you can see some additional ones there. Okay, we'll have a talk about some of the other stuff that I found out later on. Mouse settings are now customised to show you the right options for your hardware. Not too interested in that. My standard uh, mouse works nicely in here. Graphical upgrades. I didn't do that. I didn't go from 23 to 24 using the GUI, but apparently you can, which is really nice given the short time frame that we're looking at. I think you've got roughly 18 months with any um, version of Fedora roughly around there maybe I think it's somewhere around actually to be honest I think it's actually between 12 and 18 months not a flat 18 months it just depends on how far delayed they are and all that sort of thing but I think they generally support two versions back Flatpak now I did try Flatpak okay you can find out more about Flatpak in here find out how um, you run okay so I suggest you go and take a look at this very nice indeed um, because I actually had a bit of a, a, a play with it uh, now let's see if I can yeah um, I did it, I did actually do all of this I'm just going to copy that and uh, go into um, a terminal okay tab completion didn't work there funnily enough all right and I did install gedit and it pulled in all the dependencies that are needed not the system level dependencies but it pulled in the other ones and uh, well uh, it worked um, I suppose the uh, the fly in the ointment as they say is that it's no more advanced than what I can already get from the repository so kind of a moot point there but nonetheless it is there um, LibreOffice 5.1 so you might find that very nice indeed to have the, one of the latest versions of that. Apparently uses the GDK3 toolkit, so let's have a look at that. Uh, I should be able to just go S Office. You notice how I don't really like using menus and things like that and fishing around. But uh, let's just go Writer. One thing I really want, though, let's just actually, that's nice actually by the way, that, that theming, it looks very, very pretty. But and we'll just go into uh, calc, calc. Okay. One thing I really, really want them to do is well document um, the basic um, automation uh, mechanism and the ID and everything like that. So actually, very poorly documented online. Um, I write VBA professionally by day, and so. Uh, it would be nice to be able to, con you know, not convert some of the scripts I write at work, but just write some of my own scripts, maybe, you know, doing my budgeting in VBA rather than doing it with very complicated formulae. So, um, yeah, but it, it is looking like a very nice office package there, it really is, uh, considering you get it for freebie, freebie, and you get the source code as well, free is in beer, free is in speech, free speech, it is pretty nice. Um, this guy here, which is kind of interesting. So what I did is I installed Kate. Okay, pulled in all the dependencies for good old Kate. Just give that a tick to run up. Took a little while, and I also have the uh, tweak tool, which came by default, I believe. Okay, and then I found that I when I went to fonts, I can change these things some of the things, uh, where is that, uh, no titles, just select, oh, it's not working now, uh, interface, I think that was the one, wasn't it, yeah, and then you get, the, you know, it does actually follow across for the KDE application, I, I 
or uh, oh, this um, sorry, I showed the Qt based application. So hopefully that's what they're talking about there. It does seem to integrate quite nicely. I had no problem. I'm not using Wayland on this. I did try Wayland, but um, again, uh, not being experienced doing screencasting on Wayland using FFmpeg, I uh, didn't have much luck. So um, overall, I do believe that you know it's worth upgrading if you're on the Fedora track anyway. Um, if you're coming from other distributions such as Ubuntu um, or Linux Mint, you might want to try it, but again, be mindful that you're not going to have all the codecs out of the box. So you're going to either compile those for yourself uh, or you're going to use something like uh, a repository like RPM Fusion uh, to do that. Bearing in mind that if you do do the graphical upgrades, as always, mixing software from non-Fedora sources may affect your av ability to upgrade. So most systems can upgrade without issues though. So that's basically it guys. I um, I thought uh, this is uh, worthwhile taking a look at. Actually, there is one thing I would like to point out though. I did do, um, I did actually create, I did create um, this guy here, this uh, Debian Jesse, and, um, and it did an automated install. Oh, okay, restart. Um, yeah, so we'll get it to run up. It did do the automated install and everything like that. It was fantastic, but it did break halfway, um, well, three quarters of the way when I was selecting software sources and stuff like that. It basically when I got to task cell. And the other thing too is it didn't grab the passwords. So um, it does ask you to put the passwords in at the start and it unfortunately didn't play. So I'd like to probably try this with um, Fedora. It does get to the here and I can log in and um, oh, I can log in on the command line rather than this. It, 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 the passwords, as again, I said, uh, are not set up properly. If I put this in, it will refuse. And if I put a blank password in, which works on the command line, it still refuse. it refuses. So, passwords are not set up correctly. Nonetheless, you can install a virtual machine through boxes. Um, uh, again, probably do an attended install if I were you, and uh, you can also use a virt manager. Anyway, apart from that, I did find this to be a an entertaining uh, new version of Fedora. Uh, again, recommend you try it. I did try this caffeine unlock screen business, but it does not work when you go... They, see, this is a funny thing. I went in there and I went to uh, the uh, extension bit here. And it says use, uh, use Firefox to do it and I can't detect which uh, version of GNOME. So pointless, doesn't work for me. And also, um, they're using the term caffeine, uh, which is also on the Apple platform. So I'm not sure who's using whose nickname, but uh, or who's using whose trademark, uh, or whatever. But uh, yes, something going on there. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video like I enjoyed producing it. Have a good day, good night, or whatever you're having, as Daz Grigor would say. Uh, I should invent my own sayings, really, shouldn't I? Uh, and uh, enjoy, and uh, please leave your comments below, please like and subscribe. Goodbye guys.